Ahoy and welcome! In this series I am doing a deep dive in certain heritage ship cosmetics that are available for Sea of Thieves. Aside from just looking beautiful, quite a few of them are inspired by past rare video games. In this video we will have a look at the Nightwolf ship set which is based on the Saberman franchise. This franchise might not be all that well known today, which is a shame since these games were among their best selling titles when Rare just started out. So before we look at the ship set, let's take a look into the franchise first. And also, don't forget to subscribe, that's always appreciated. So the first game in the Saberman franchise was called Saber Wolf and released in 1984 for the ZX Spectrum. And for those that don't know what a ZX Spectrum is, just imagine a Commodore 64 having a baby with a paint bucket. Just, just imagine that. It was also the console featured in the Black Mirror movie Bandersnatch, which most people will know it from and I also thought this was a cool addition to that movie. So in Saber Wolf you play as Saber Man, an adventurer in search of four pieces of an amulet. These pieces are located in random spots every time you play, but the maze-like jungle always stays the same. Also, Saberman is probably called Saberman because he uses his saber to whack any living creature he comes across. He just smacks him. And just like most ZX Spectrum games, this one was designed to play over and over again to try and beat your high score. During your explorations, you are also hunted by the namesake of the game, the Saber Wolf an unkillable enemy and your worst nightmare. This game may not seem like much today, but critics had high praise for the colorful graphics and animations. It received high review scores all over the place, and it also features hippos, so yeah, great game. Upon completion, you are rewarded with a teaser to the sequel Underworld. And with teaser I just mean the logo. Still, I think this was great marketing, especially in a time before the modern internet. I love it when Banjo-Kazooie teased Banjo-Tooie, but I do have to give credit to Saber Wolf for already doing this in the early 80s. So how is this sequel? Well it sucks. Where I could still have some fun playing the first game, I can't say the same for this one. Exploring is annoying, enemies are annoying, and jumping is the worst part of the game. It uses the same type of delayed jumping like in the early Prince of Persia games, only, only it sucks. Um, but when we look at the review scores again, this game was, yeah, again hailed by critics, so what do I know? I did finish the game, and depending on the exit you choose, you can be rewarded with teasers to three other Saberman games. These were Nightlore, Pentagram and Mire Mare. Um, the last one never got released, so I guess it's not always smart to tease future games this way. So let's have a quick look at the first game that came out after Underworld, Nightlore. In this game, Saberman is cursed to turn into a wolf every night. To stop this curse, you are tasked in finding the right ingredients for a magic potion. And to give some perspective again, this game was named Game of the Year in 1984 and was the best-selling game in 1985. The final Saberman game on the ZX Spectrum is called Pentagram. Just like before, it has an isometric perspective and our hero must recover the lost Pentagram an artifact of magical power. This game was also well received at the time, but unless you are a diehard Spectrum fan, these games are hard to recommend to the modern player. And even though I do own a ZX Spectrum, I sadly don't own any of these Saberman games. At least not yet. But I did play the first three thanks to Rare Replay. These versions include options for infinite lives, and you can even turn off the enemies in the second game, making it somewhat playable. So if you feel like experiencing these games yourself, but have no idea how cassettes work, um, you can always play these. And honestly, as a rare fanboy, I think it's simply amazing that they put these classic games in this collection. So yeah, thanks Rare, honestly great job for doing this. After the ZX Spectrum, it became quite still around our little explorer. But he did get a rather substantial cameo in Banjo-Tooie. This was confusing as a kid because this cameo got me excited to play a modern Saberman game, but there weren't any. However, a new installment was at one point in development for the Xbox C60. This game was going to be called Saberman Stampede and was originally going to be a Donkey Kong racing game 
for the Nintendo GameCube. But you know, Microsoft bought Rare in 2002, so yeah, that didn't happen. This game, however, looks exactly like a Saberman game I would love to play, but sadly the team couldn't figure out a satisfying gameplay loop and it got cancelled. So the final game I want to mention is Saber Wolf for the Game Boy Advance. It's a colorful and charming platform game where you use different animals to help you in your quest. It has a pick up and play level design, but don't expect an epic story. It's also full of references and easter eggs to his older games, but also the Pendragon games. And if you want to know more about these games, I've already made a video about it. Which will be in the link uh, underneath this video. Sadly, this game with Juan's game is also the last in the Saberman franchise. So, with this history lesson behind us, let us look at the ship. As mentioned before, it's called the Nightwolf ship set, and this name is probably inspired by the third game in the series, where Saberman turns into a wolf every single night. Just like most pieces of this ship, the hull is mainly colored black and green. This is probably done to give it a nighttime aesthetic, and yeah, I like it. The description reads, There are no wolves native to the Sea of Thieves. So where is that dreadful howl coming from? And yeah, wolves howl into the night, and the Saber Wolf does this every time you encounter him in the Game Boy Advance game, but I would also like to remind you of the Saber Wolf Howl from the Killer Instinct franchise. And no, this fighter is not the same character as from the Saberman games, but the name is obviously no coincidence. The capstan contains the design and features the following description. You'll need to raise anchor rapidly should the wolf come calling. Flight is your only option. And this is true. When spotting the Saber Wolf, the only choice you have is to run away. The capstan also has a black orchid on top. These flowers were power-ups in the original game, giving bonuses such as extra speed and invincibility. These flowers were also rare collectibles in the Game Boy Advance game. And yeah, this is a nice touch to the design. The wheel looks similar and also features this orchid in the middle. The description reads, This darkly elegant wheel looks like it could navigate even the most maze-like reefs. And navigating maze-like environments is something Saberman has been doing in all his ZX Spectrum games. The cannons feature an incredible stunning wolf head design. And we can see the orchid yet again on the wheels. And even though it looks awesome, these cannons aren't that great for PvP in my opinion. The text reads, Scatter the silence and spread chaos and panic, all in the name of the fabled wolf. A nice bit of flavor text. With cannons like these should come nice flares, so let's have a look at them. The sails feature white wolf's heads and some green embellishments. The description reads, These fearsome claw marks will frighten superstitious pirates wary of the unkillable wolf. And yeah, you know by now that the saber wolf is invincible. The collector sails at some claw marks and makes them seem ripped in certain places, which is always a nice touch. The description reads, If you see these claw marks on a tree or rock, do not go into the jungle after dark. An obvious reference and sound advice either way. Also, these sails glow in the dark, which is great. The flag depicts the same wolf head design as the sails. The description reads, Beware the dire wolf of the oldest legends, for its bite alone can transform man into beast. A fate bestowed on our very own Saberman in his third game. They also refer as the wolf as an old legend, which is also true. If you don't count the jetpack games, this is Rare's oldest franchise. The regular figurehead is carved into the wolf itself. It has a faint bluish purplish color, which is fitting because that's how he is depicted in most of the games. The text reads, Campfire stories tell of this ancient jungle menace, a rare and invulnerable monster, a reference to the Game Boy Advance game where Saberman is told the story of this wolf while standing next to a campfire. So yeah, I do my research. Also, he is told this story by the mayor of a nearby village, and this village is called Blackwitch. 
So yeah, that's another reference for all you Rare fans out there. The Collector's figurehead is similar, but the wolf is white and glows in the dark. The flavor text reads, a figurehead fit for an apex predator, bright, ferocious and hungry for battle. Another obvious description, but it is worthy to note that this figurehead is depicted with green eyes. And while the original wolf has yellow eyes, Saberman has green ones. So yeah, a nice touch for those that pay attention. So after this ship showcase, I would love to know if you guys would like a new Saberman game. The fact that Rare is still selling Saberman merchandise is awesome, but a new installment doesn't seem that likely. I obviously hope we do see one. I mean, the guy looks, you know, kind of cute for an old guy, and, and let's not forget, he also looks very marketable. You kind of have to put him on some cover, right? Also, massive thanks to a shiny Ray for putting on these cosmetics. Uh, make sure you check out his channel as well, you won't be disappointed. So, thanks for watching my stuff, don't forget to leave a like before you go, it's, it's always, it's the best way to support this channel, it, it really is. And I wish you happy sailings, whether it be on an overpriced, expensive ship set or not. Alright, see you in the next video and take care.